We've been doing immuno-EM so we can follow the molecules we're studying, which are antibodies. So you get a direct assay of what they're doing during the process of aggregation. Lee gets back to you instantly when she has time or when she doesn't have time. I mean, there are lots of users, but it's very accessible. You can always get time on the machine. We study cell contact interactions with biomaterial surfaces. And so we're looking at really small structures uh, interacting with the surface. So SEM really lets you look at your surface and not only the surface of the material you're looking at, but also at the cellular components that are attaching to your surface. I work on colon cancer uh, stem cells, and so I do a lot of work involving asymmetric mitosis, and I'm looking at certain proteins that are actually involved in asymmetric mitosis. Through confocal microscopy, I'm able to show that two proteins that are actually involved in asymmetric cell division, for instance, NUM and PAR3, actually segregate to opposite poles in a cell. And so I was able to actually clearly show distinctively that one protein was in one cell and the other protein was in the other cell. So confocal definitely helped me to clarify a point that I'd had a problem with for a while. We are using the uh, gold labeling. Uh, we're trying to use the gold to uh, target one of the protein to locate the protein on that along that filament. Well, we work on a protein complex, and it's made up of three proteins. Initially, we have some problems to produce the nice, clean images, but then we change a little bit of our protocol, and it looks great now. The mouse development really mimics human development very closely. Indeed, mouse genes and human genes in many cases are highly identical. We have models for clefting of the lip and clefting of the palate. We have models, mouse models for lack of spleen. The science we do, developmental biology, developmental embryology, the first steps of all of these experiments is always a visual step where we have to visualize particular structures and we have to visualize how they form or how they form abnormally when we have a congenital disease onset. So all in all, we have abundantly used confocal microscopy, uh, scanning uh, electron microscopy and transmission electron microscopy. This is for sure working out very well. We are very pleased with the service.